and look at that. We're playing the Stanley Parable. I am. Hello, every filthy human worm baby. I am Zim. And welcome back to Zim Plays. The Stanley Parable. Um, I heard this was very um, interesting, so I'm going to see the play. Oh, wow, this is actually really neat. That is actually really cool. Uh, so we're gonna play the Stanley Parable. Alright. The end is never the end. The end is never loading. And... Never... Uh, uh, never the end is... Never. Hmm. So this game never ends. It's like that lamb chop. The lamb with chops. The song that doesn't end. It goes on and on my pen. And then we saw this. Oh, girl. I really never want that in my head. Then we saw this. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on, you loading screen. Hurry up. I want you to load. What's the whole point of this game anyway? I heard you're not, you're not supposed to follow directions. That's the point of the game, I think. It's not to follow directions. This is the story of a man Stanley. Yes, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I don't know if you can hear it. Employee number 427's job oh. was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk. All he did was push buttons. How long to push them, and in what order. This That's is what stupid. They look like Spooby's job. Spooby did the same shit. He was way more defective than I am. Oh, I'm not, I'm not a defective. No. Oh. Because I actually thought it was a little too low. Okay, so this is our desk. Oh! Uh, I skipped the rest of the thing. I actually know the, the story about Stanley. Uh, Stanley, and then, uh, actually, to tell you the truth, Dib actually played this previous before I did. And he actually said he almost got all the ch achievements. So we're not going to show the achievements. But, we're going to play the game. Um, one thing of all, uh, Stanley found out that no one was in his in the building and he wants to know why it's the point of the game where did we go where did All this go? Time workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo do, 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 do. So I gotta click no on matter everything. how hard Stanley looked he couldn't find a trace of his we'll code. Who fought it? Who we'll fought it, Cup? I turned off the computer. I am learning. There is paper. <gasps> golden magic paper. Oh my god, that's golden magic paper. Okay, let's see. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Door, that one playing solitary. This is oh, we'll go this way. No, I just came from there. Okay. Where is everybody's? Where is everybody? Huh? Huh? I click you off. I don't even know what you said. What did What did it say? Okay. Oh, this is very sensitive. What's in dope here? Hmm. I wanna... I 
guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now, in this little hallway. What? Here, with no distractions, to study room 417. Yes. Not to actually enter it. No, 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 no. That would be far too forward. I enter Stanley it. wanted to know it from the outside, to see oh. it not just with his eyes, but with his heart. He would know room... Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, okay. Now we can move on. It was dip stuff again. It was not my stuff. Ah, no, apparently not. I wanted more my stuff from poop topic. I was looking forward to something. Oh, what's this? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So we're actually going to do the opposite, um, dip set. So we'll go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Fine, Perhaps let me go he to here. To stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Fine. Then why the doors close behind me? <gasps> Something bad must have happened. Why? Are, oh, do you think there's a monster going to come here? Monster's just going to pop out and go boo. It's going to go boogity boogity boo. <gasps> I hate when they go boogity boogity boo. That's horrible. You know it'll be really funny? Me doing this with fan art. Can you just imagine me in a, in a suit wandering around in this office? That'll sound great. Since I mostly put this on my D on my friend's DB and Arts channel as well. Nope. Close your door. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. What? Well, it really boring. Be worth after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. I'm gonna make humans sick. Simply stood here, Spinning. Drinking it all in. Ooh. Speaking of drink. What? A dollar twenty-five for this yes. small can of soda? Really, really worth it. Being no. Here. Thank you. So utterly captivating. That should be at least twenty-five. I don't. These chairs and some paintings, really worth it. Is that actually what time it is? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's no, it possible didn't. that this is why everyone left. It can't be just because of me, Zim. No one leaves Zim. Stanley sat around with his I've been a good Urkin. But when a long time had passed oh, and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Oh, okay, fine, I'll just be a super but at bitch. Last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, I can't jump. Um Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, Absolutely. it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Don't lie if... Wait. Don't lie if you are lying. Right... Yeah, right now, stop. I am not lying, Zim does not lie. Zim is good. This is... This is horrible... Blueprints. Blueprints are horrible. It should be better, better blueprints. Hmm. And there should be options. I could fall to my death. Yes. Fall, fall to Zim's death. So take this mini monorail, jump to that door, or I could go to that one over there. Play my options. Think, 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 think. think. What the fuck? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control, oh, I kill himself. So that makes it easier. Gets to tell him what to do. 
Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Yep, Good I did. Job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yes, I'm super powerful. I'm amazing powerful. I'm amazing at everything I do. Because I am Zim. Alright. Here we go. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. Yes. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. I like work. Let's. There's something. Okay. I can't walk in this thing. Here. Input receive. Okay, input it. And input your received. Sexy. That's sad, sexy. Sim is sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy, sexy. Okay. The most handsome I can ever. Set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Fuck you. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge Fuck first, just to admire it. I'm gonna go. Wow. Yes. This room. He sounds sarcastic. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions. I'm actually to go to the back door. Years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I could jump off the platform right now. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your I trust in someone that door else right is now. difficult, but the fact but is not. that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yes. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Ooh. Someone you've forgotten about. Yes, who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I do. I'm asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who is her? Her is me. Is it, me is her. Your chance to redeem her is man. To put your work aside. Her is dead. To let her back into your life. You She's are stupid. Been waiting. Now what's gonna happen? The animation monster is gonna come here and spook me. It's gonna spooky, spooky, spook. Me. That's her standing. You need to be the one to do this. To uh. reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Uh, you know what? No. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yes, no, I did. It supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. Yeah, I mean, so? It was possible. So what I'm saying, unplug the phone? No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Hold on. Well, someone's got to go out, and so... Um... Comes in, fake to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone mm. is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Why not pick up the phone? How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making do, 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 do. I'm going to run and run and circle. see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. What? I not noticed it sooner. Yes. You're not Stanley. Absolutely. You're I thought, I told you. I'm not Stanley. I'm Sam. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Yeah. And to think I've been letting yeah. you run around in yeah. this game for so yeah. long. If you've made any more yeah. wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real oh, world decision no making. Shit. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, the I point of that it. Kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. That's you boring. This helpful instructional you are boring. You are boring, Sam. Oh, what the Trials. hell? 
It's the yes. best part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical we real person named Stephen We see a butthole that looks like choice. him. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens what? of impoverished what? third no, world you nations. Don't... Or he, he could that? systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Do you Which have to do choice that? Would you make? Remember what? that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not okay. make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their uh -huh. thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Okay. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Hey, Dib, you're gay. <laughs> oh, and uh, back sack of cr crap or crap? What? Dib, you're gay. There. That's actually a good Excellent. example. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy oh, that's decision a great making choice. process. That's a perfect choice. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Eight. Do you make more than eight? eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever yes. make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. What? No, that's and a the feeling mean. should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test okay. and reinforce the material covered in this video. What? Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as Yay, a result of Yay, deteriorate! But not to worry. How do I mean, Sam? I've done that all the time. I have deteriorated so many things. Just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. I deteriorated a lot of stuff back in my day. A lot of stuff. How many may I ask? Well, let's just say we don't really need to add a number. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Uh, Imagine the main character uh, dying senselessly halfway through uh, the story. Let me die. Let me die. Just to be as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Are we going down? Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Let me die. Uh, the human won't let me die in this game. If I just bash my head in here a few times, I'll do it. Oh, even this door's gone. Hmm. Okay. It's the same time I left. That's weird. Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my no. lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Suck my Irkin nuts. If I had any. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Deterioration! Okay, back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <gasps> one, 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 two, three, question mark, one, two, three, four, four, five, 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 then, 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 ooh. Ow! Oh, that actually sparked my pack. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, funny. It's a bit funny. Do, 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 do. I know I do the... Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. I'll go this way just to shut you up. So we gotta 
play the game for reals. Well, the... it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked know. about that you, my uh, story, you've eh? destroyed my work. Why? Yay, good. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Pissing off a human? Like so garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? Yes. You know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. Ha! Ooh, that's do a nice do? couch. What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Oh. I have to. What? Ooh! This... Oh, what just happened? What, what just... What, what just... Whoa! Oh, this is so creepy. I'm still here. Yes. Part of rubbish. With you. We're all still here. You, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Yes, I am so clever. This usually happens when after I do some two abortions, I just slap. What? I come in, and this is what happens in the end. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be It's just really standard? weird how it happens. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands Sorry. that if I say to do something... Yep, every time I go to abortion, scientist comes clean and ends up like this. I don't know There's why. Outside of you. I was just trying to help. Zoom, trying to help. Oh. Yes. My story. Yes. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. Really? You destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Where'd he go? This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. What, I'm but what sure just happened? To the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When then he came to the center, center two open doors, doors. He, he had to the door on stand. his right. Haha. Uh -huh. No! Why did you do that? Because I'm stupid! What the? This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means what? choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Come on. Follow my lead and you'll be fine. Right. All right. Right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he had the door on his right. Aha. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry Oh, oh, okay, I gotta... I can't do that. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> this is stupid. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Th this is... This is stupid. Ooh. He said something about a broom closet. Why is it not opening? Okay. Coming what the? Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I heard. Okay, never mind. Once again, stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Voice Surely receiver? This door made all the answers <gasps> to his questions. Shooting panda! Yes, shoot the panda! He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. 
こんにちは。もしかもしれな。こんにちは。とらねばなな。なまねなな。あなねきぬ。